Lemos Pleasant. Good afternoon from Bishop State Community College. It's the championship game. Bevel State Walker College looking for its first conference championship in 20 years. That was on the D2 level back in 2004 under Rick Bowling on the Fed campus. For the Jasper campus, well, I tell you what, it's been much longer than that that we brought one home to the Walker College campus. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brett Elmore, board side for WJLX Sports. And I tell you, a beautiful day here in Mobile. It's still cloudy, but not rainy, which is definitely uh, something that I'm not missing. As we had pouring rain most of the day yesterday, the Bears, of course, last night defeated Chattahoochee Valley 95-86 to get to this point. So the second-ranked Bears will square off with the number one team in Division Two, and that is going to be the Steve State Parsons. And under Coach Jeremiah Patterson, they are the defending Division Two champions. They defeated Marion. 96 to 80 last night. So, defeated Marion handily. And of course, the Bears did an overtime thriller over Chattahoochee Valley. 95 to 86 as we look downstairs. The Bears warming up. And we're just about set for action here in about four minutes. Or so, Bear Basketball brought to you by Belmont State Community College. And our friends at Pinnacle Bank, member FDIC. We'll have a look at the starting lineups here in just a moment, but uh, last night, that overtime thriller against Chattahoochee Valley was a good one. Four players in double figures for the Bears, including the star of the show, Shengazi. Donovan Shengazi, 27 points in a winning effort. Alistair Dixon had 14 points, 13 points for Tavion Good, and 10 points for Quinn Brooks as the Bears won last night in overtime. I mentioned the Parsons. Well, these two teams have met twice in the regular season, and the Bears lost both of those games. The first one at home, December 7th, 78-67. The Bears actually led by three points with under a minute to go at Songer Gymnasium and let it slip away from them. Then on February 5th, Sneed handily beat the Bears 92-71 on the road in Boaz. Bears coming in 18 and 13. Sneed State 24 and six. They have only lost one conference game all season long. So this is almost like a David versus Goliath type ball game here this afternoon at Bishop State in Mobile. Do want to take this time to congratulate the girls from Jasper High School. How about that? The girls, a winner earlier today, got to watch that at the hotel. And ladies, congratulations from all of us here at WJLX, all of our fine sponsors. Appreciate that. But man, I tell you what, how exciting to bring home the blue map back to Jasper and Walker County. All right, projected starters for both teams. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Parsons and Steed State. Like I mentioned, the number one seed in the tournament. Starting lineup gonna be Andrew Spackus, Lambert, Leach, and Thomas for Steed State. For Bevel State, Walker College, looking like this. Daniels, Shangasi, Good, Davis, and Brooks, your starting five for Bevel State, Walker College. About a minute away from tip-off. Air basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank and our friends at 
Bevel State Community College. See Dr. Haygood in the crowd. We've got a decent crowd here from Jasper making the trip to Mobile. We will step aside. Stay tuned, everybody. Coming up next, it's the Division II Men's Basketball Championship from Mobile. We'll be back in just a moment. This is Bear Basketball, and we're live on WJLX, the Sports Voice of Walker County. Downstairs, the PA. title in 20 years. Can we get it here this afternoon in Mobile? We shall soon see. Of course, Coach Billy Connor in his first season named Division II Coach of the Year. That's awesome. He's had a, he's had a great year, his team. Here we go. We are set. The Bears are in the road green uniforms. White numerals trimmed in the blue. We are set from Mobile for the championship game. And the Parsons control the basketball. Parsons with it. Leach has it now, top of the circle. Leach goes right side, number five of the basketball. Backus, Backus. To go left, now back to back. It's open for three. Will not go. Offensive rebound coming out to the Parsons. Parsons with a basketball. Leach with it. Comes near side. Backus. Back around now, near side perimeter. Three ball, Thomas. 
he got it. It's three to nothing, early going, Sneed in the lead. Shangazi with the basketball. Going to leave it off with his teammate, Tavion Good. Good goes to work, hands it off now to Daniels. Daniels right of the circle, stops, going to go to the keyhole. This is Brooks, Brooks makes a move to the bucket, Brooks gets it up and puts it in. Quickly, we go down the floor here, Leach with a basketball for the Parsons. Feeds underneath, that's going to be thrown away by the Bears. Bears the other way. Daniels in transition. Daniels going to drive all the way to the hoop. He's going to leave it off with number four, Tavion Good, who puts it up and in. It's 4-3. Bears out front. Back the other way. Parsons with the basketball. Dribble drive, kick out pass. Now they'll go. Leach for three. No, off the back iron. Rebound coming out to Shangazi. Shangazi quickly up the floor for the Bears. In the corner, three. No good for Daniels. Offensive board, though. Great job cleaning it up for the Bears. They'll reset the offense, leading 4-3. Shangazi, bounce pass over now to Good. Good will drive with the paint. Lost the handle. It goes out of bounds. It'll be Parson basketball. Parson basketball just underneath us here. I say us, it's just me. I run at the camera, doing the play-by-play, keeping the numbers, producing the radio broadcast and all. That's why I get paid the big bucks. You're right. Leach going to find a cutter to the bucket. I blew the shot. It's no good. The offensive rebound, though, as Leach couldn't get it to go. Here's a drive of the paint. A floater from Bacchus is good. It's now five to four. Parsons with the basketball, or excuse me, with the lead and Bevel with the basketball. Shangazi, he'll drive. A nice jumper off the back iron, no good. And the rebound coming out to Leach. And there, quick down the floor. It's gonna be stolen away by the Bears. Bears with the basketball as Davis came away with it. Davis with the basketball, right wing, back again, stops his dribble, looks, goes top of the circle, back inside to Davis. Davis going to catch the double team, going to put it up anyway. It's no good. Out of bounds. It'll be Sneed basketball. 5-4 your score, Parsons on top. 16-53. We're just underway here in the ball game. The Division II Men's Championship from Mobile. Leach with the basketball. He'll leave it off now, number five with it. Backus, Backus stops. He's double teamed. He kicks it back out to Leach. Leach, plenty of time here, 22. This is Thomas, gonna drive, shot no good. Rebound coming out to Davis and the Bears. Here come the Bears with the basketball. This is good. He's gonna drive, put up a shot, no good. And the board's being cleared by Backus and the Parsons. Parsons with the basketball, drive baseline, whistles, he's double dribbled. Double dribbled the basketball. So the Bears will inbound baseline. And a couple of the Bears now adjusting their shoes here. Here's Shangazi, gonna walk it up the floor for the Bears, trailing by a point, 5-4. Isaiah Daniel with a basketball. Gets it in the corner now. That's Brooks. Brooks back to Shengazi. Near side to the dribble. Goes top of the circle. Now he'll penetrate in the lane. Makes a move. Puts it by floater. Good. And the Bears reclaim the lead. It's 6-5 to five here. Backus with the basketball, goes right to Lambert. Lambert looks, finds Thomas. Thomas will drive on the wing, stops his dribble. Gonna leave it off, whistles, he stepped on the line. Out of bounds, a turnover, and the Bears will have it back with 15-21. Time to go here 
in the opening half. Brooks will inbound and gets it into Daniel. Daniel crosses the timeline. Here's a pass to Shangazi. Shangazi way outside. Now will drive top of the circle. Makes a move, spins, turn around, jumper. Shangazi gets it to roll home. It's good. It's eight to five. Bears out front. Drive to the hoop. Shot is good by Leach. His first points and one coming up. He has a chance to tie this ball game up here with 14.56 to play until intermission. Just underway from Mobile. Shot on the way. It is good for Leach. His third point of the ball game. Shangazi with a basketball. He's going to be double teamed to the near side. Now here's Daniels back around now. Good. Good. Back to Daniels the near side. They reverse to Shangazi. Makes a move in the paint. Turn around jumper. Shangazi's hot. Six points for him so far. And the Bears reclaim the lead. It's 10 to 8. Dribble drive in the paint. Kissing it off the glass is Bacchus. Quickly up the floor. Bears with the basketball. Here's a dribble drive and hitting the deck hard is Good. He's going to be fouled and will go to the line to shoot two. 22 is going to be called. This is Armani Thomas. Thomas, the 6'5 sophomore from Orlando, Florida. And Tay Good will be at the line, averaging eight points a game, 61% free throw shooter. First shot is up, and the first shot is good for Good. Bevel reclaims the lead, 11 to 10 here. Good had 13 last night in the overtime win over Chattahoochee Valley. We'll have another one coming up here. Good ice the bucket. Shot on the way. It is up. And it is good. 12 to 10, your score. Bears out front. Crossing the timeline with a dribble is Leach. Leach will dribble through traffic and lay it up and in off the left side. It's a 12 all game here. Big guy with the basketball way outside. That's Davis. Davis, top of the circle here. Back to Shangazi. Shangazi going to pull back, take the three. He fell. Shot no good. Offensive rebound will not go by Brooks. And back the other way come the Parsons. Leach with the basketball. Leaves off with his teammate. I believe that's Butler, and he's going to be fouled going to the hoop. Not sure which bear picked that one up, but we have a timeout on the floor. Timeout. We're tied at 12. More bear basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank coming up after the break.
We are back live. Mobile, 12 apiece here. And the inbound coming up now for the Parsons. Parsons with the basketball. Leach has it now. Leach working against Shangazi. Shot no good over Shangazi. And the rebound coming out to the Bears. Good with the basketball. Good. Going to kick it out. Here's Daniels open for the corner three. No good. And cleaning out the board is going to be Andrews. Back the other way with the basketball. Leach with it. Leach leaves it off with Backus. The big guy is going to be fouled. Six foot six. I believe he's taller than that. Sophomore from Homewood, Alabama. Going to say Brooks. Charged with a foul. Here's a drive in the paint. Shot good by Backus. His sixth point. And the lead goes 14-12 at Sneed State. Shangazi with a basketball. Leaves off with Good. Good back over now to Davis. Davis to Daniels near side. Goes to the dribble. Goes behind the back now. Bounce pass. Here's Good. Making a move. And going to put it up. Oh, it's no good. Would not fall for Good. Back the other way. Leach with the basketball. Leach. Drives, left side, it's gonna roll out, no good. And Davis pulls down the board. Here comes Shangazi. Shangazi drives, loses the ball. Timeout on the floor, do they get it? Yes, they do. Heads up play by Quinn Brooks. Timeout on the floor, we'll take one as well. Back with more, Bevel State, Walker College basketball. Presented by Pinnacle Bank in just a moment. Welcome back, everybody. Right on more court side, WJLX Sports. Inbounds pass coming up for the Bears. Looking to get it in. Going to have to go way in the back court. To track this one down, does Shangazi. Leaves it off now. Just check it in. Elijah Heron into the ball game. Daniels now right side in the corner is Shangazi. He will drive with the paint, kick out pass. Daniels, near side three, got it! Isaiah Daniels, his first points of the ball game. It is now 15 to 14, Bears out front. Backus will work it in to Leach. Leach with the basketball. Division two men's basketball championship. Live from Mobile. Leach with it. Picked up by Heron defensively. Leaves it off Backus. And he will be fouled going to the hoop. Coach Connor up off the bench. This one's going to be on. Uh, let's see. Jason Griffin. That is his first. Fourth team foul of the half. And to the line will go Dante Backus, 77% free throw shooter. First shot to tie it up for the Parsons. It's no good. And Jason Griffin turning around to the Sneed State crowd, or our bench one. It is our bench. And giving them a big hand clap. Second shot is good from Backus. Ties the ball game at 15. Heron with the basketball. Heron leaves it off with Shangazi. Shangazi backs up, takes the three. Yes, indeed! Shangazi for three is ninth point. Bears lead 18 to 15. 11.05, time to go, opening half. 
Between the legs with the dribble goes Lee. She's picked up by Heron defensively. Bears stick to a man-to-man defense. Working off the screen. Goes now to Thomas. Thomas, top of the key. Nine to shoot. Heron, excuse me. That is Backus for a long three. No good. Rebound out for the Bears. Here's a lay-in. Right side good by Jason Griffin. It is 20 to 15. And now we have a timeout on the floor. As uh, maybe we had an injured player here or something going on with the Parsons or something. Well, we really don't know what's going on. Oh, one of the players for Sneed, Butler, running back over toward the bench. It looks like he's all right. And now, with the Bears leading by five, 10.41 to go. Sneed will walk it up the floor. This is Leach. Leach with the basketball. Leaves it off with Thomas. Thomas, back over now to Rogers. Here's a three. Leach cannot get his shot to go, and the Bears, oh, way with a rebound. Quick outlet. Here's a drive. Oh, the shot is blocked. Back the other way in transition. Here come the Parsons, and a foul on the floor is called. This is going to be on 24, Alistair Dixon, his first. And the 15th foul of the half. The Bears lead by five. 10-16 to go here opening half. And Leach with five points will trigger it in. Baseline. Number one ranked. Parsons versus the number two seed, Bears of Bevel State. Bevel State looking for their ba- first basketball championship in 20 years. The first championship on the Jasper campus in 40. Oh, that's ball stolen away off the inbound. Shangazi, he will drive. Now we'll wait for help. Double team underneath, whistles on the floor. He got it shot to go, but Alistair Dixon's going to be fouled. And this is going to send, nope, not in the act of shooting, they say. So, Changazi will inbound. He'll work it in. Heron. Heron with a basketball. Kick out now to Daniels. Daniels looks, finds his teammate Griffin. Right side, Changazi. Picked up by the big man, Backus defensively. They're going to feed underneath. Whistles. We got another reach in. Got another reach in on number 10. This is going to be Xavier Price, his first. And to the line will go Jason Griffin. Griffin averaging six points a game and 64% from the free throw line. Nails the first one. 21 15, Bears. Oh, my goodness. Second shot on the way. It's good. Good guys up by seven. 22-15 now. Here's Leach with the basketball. Leach will drive, kick out pass, open look three. Got it. Butler. And the Parsons make it 22-18. 9.25 to go, opening half. Daniels with the basketball. Near side, this is Heron. And back over to Shengazi. Back to Heron now, right. And now, oh man, an offensive foul. And this is going to be on number 13, Jason Griffin, his second. And now, the Parsons will inbound. Leach with the basketball. Bears swarming around. That's Dixon picking up Leach. Dribble drive, ball is swatted out of bounds by Dixon. That brings the bevel crowd to life across the way. Leach will inbound with 13 to shoot. Leach looks, 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 looks close to being a five. Coming out to get it way in the backcourt is Lambert. 
They'll work it back into the front court. Here's Rogers with the basketball. Shot is blocked, but the foul is called. This is going to be on Alistair Dixon, his second. And to the line will go Dante Backus, the state's leading scorer at 22 points. He has seven points so far in this ball game. First shot on the way, it is up, and it is good. Nails the first one, makes it 22-19. Bears on top with 8.47 to play until halftime. We're live on WJLX 101.5 FM. We're live with a video on our website, WJLX1015.com, our Facebook, YouTube, and X account. And the shot is good. Second free throw makes it 22 to 20. Bears out front. Daniels with the basketball. Picked up by Backus defensively. And the tall guy is going to steal it away. Back the other way. He's going to lay it in. Right side off the glass and good. And we're tied again. 22 apiece. 8-24. Time to go here in the opening half. Right of the circle is Daniels. Down near side, Heron. Heron, both teams in a man-to-man. -man. Back over Daniels. Cross court to Shangazi. Shangazi with five to shoot at four. At three, he drives in the paint. Puts it up. And it's going to be out of bounds. Last touch by the Bears. Thought that one was going to go in. It just rolled off the iron. And goes back the other way out of bounds. Parsons looking to take the lead with a basket here. Rogers with it, cross court to Lambert. Lambert back to Rogers, picked up by Shangazi defensively. And the defense collapses in, but still, he shoots it over. Alistair Dixon, good. It's 24 22. Sneed State with the lead. Shangazi looks, he stops his dribble, gets Davis. Davis trying to back in. Davis makes a move. Davis counted in the foul. And one, we're tied at 24. Tay Good checks in for the Bears. Coming out will be Daniels. He will uh, take a break, a breather here. And Tobias Davis with two points. The and one is no good. Tied at 24. Parsons with the basketball working to the goal to my right here as we are set up courtside. Thomas now back over to Rogers. Now far side they go to Lambert. Back over to Rogers. He'll drive baseline. It's going to be stolen away by the Bears. Back the other way. Heron with a basketball in transition. Leaves off. Open lug three. Off the front iron. No good. And the rebound. As Good couldn't get his shot to fall. Comes to the Parsons. Lay in. Right side good by Rogers. 26 24 your score. Parsons with the lead. Shangazi with it. Bounce pass. Here's a drive and a shot up and in by Brooks. His fourth point. Tied at 26. Man, this has been a great opening half. Three on the way. No good. Bears away with the rebound. Davis. Davis clears the boards. Leaves with Shangazi. Shangazi with a basketball on the wing. Now drives in the paint. Puts it up. And Shangazi puts it in. 28-26 your score. Bears out front. Action fast and furious here. 5.50. Time to go opening half. Rodgers for the Parsons with a basketball. Picked up by Shangazi. Bounce pass now. At the keyhole, it's the big guy Bacchus. Puts up the jumper, it's an air ball. It doesn't draw any iron, it goes out of bounds. 
timeout on the floor, I do believe. Let's see. Yes, timeout on the floor. We will take one as well. You're tuned to Bevel State. Walker College Basketball, we're live on WJLX, the sports voice of Walker County. Bevel State is your community college for convenient and affordable academic transfer options. Rewarding health science programs. High wage, high demand career tech training. Your story starts at Bevel State. Hear the buzzer. We're set for action here. As the media timeout. 28 26. Bears in the lead and will inbound baseline and go the length of the floor here. Brett Elmore for WJLX Sports. Appreciate you folks tuning our way. Shengazi off the inbound. He'll trot up the floor here. Into the front court now with a dribble. Pick, picked up the double team here. Now they'll leave it off with Davis. Davis lost the handle out of bounds. Last touch by the Parsons. Parson fans sitting next to me. They don't agree with it. Supposed to be bear basketball. And they're going to call it bear basketball. Heron. Will look to inbound, trying to get it in, and he will do so to Shangazi. Shangazi to the dribble he goes with 10 to shoot. Works off a Davis screen, now he's double teamed. Davis now with the basketball at five. Gonna leave it off with Good. Jumper from the free throw line, good. 30-26, Bears out front. Thomas with the basketball. Oh, bullet pass inside. Shot is partially blocked. But Andrews went up for the dunk and is fouled by 23. Was that against Brooks? Oh, that's, that's on Dixon. His third team foul. Oh, that's not good. Dixon had 14 points last night. First shot on the way is good from number four, Mario Andrews. For the Parsons, making it a three-point ball game, 30 to 27, Bears on, on top. Second shot is good. 30-28, your score, Bears out front. Heron into the front court, leaves it with Davis. Davis backs in on the far side, on the wing. Stops his dribble, makes a move. High off the glass is good. Davis with his fourth point. 32-28, Bears out front by four. Far side, Butler with the basketball. To the dribble, works off the screen, now will drive. Has the ball stripped away. Bears back the other way, good in transition. Good with the basketball. Bounce pass inside to Davis. And the reach in foul. Mario Andrews, a guilty party. And with 4-12 to go here in the opening half, the Bears will have the basketball baseline. Leading by four, 32-28. And Shengazi now will inbound. Gets it out high to Dixon, over to Heron. Now in the corner, it's Shangazi. Shangazi to the dribble. 12 to shoot, drives in the paint. Kick out, three Heron. No good, and the rebound pulled down by Xavier Price 
and the Parsons. Into the front court quickly with a pass. Here's the big guy underneath as it's stripped away. He's going to come back up with a handle. Puts it up, no good. And he's fouled by number two, Shengazi. And that is the second on Shengazi. Bears can't afford to get into foul trouble here. Backus will go to the line. Backus is state's leading scorer. No good with the first shot. He's a 77% free throw shooter. The sophomore from Homewood, Alabama, former Patriot. Eyes the bucket. Trying to score his 12th point of the contest. And he does. Hit one of two. Makes it 32-29. Alistair Garcia, Quinn Brooks will inbound. He'll get it in to Daniels. Daniels into the front court. Here's Shengazi. Shengazi. Make, trying to make a move on Lambert. Now will feed underneath. The big guy has a shot blocked from behind. Davis does. Bears come back up with it. Shot will not go for good, and the rebound coming to the Parsons. Parsons into the front court. Backus with a basketball. Leaves it out. Leach. Three. No good. Rebound coming out. Ooh, he hit hard. Oh, no. This can't be a foul. This is going to be a foul on Davis. He hit. The Parson player hit very, very hard on the floor. I thought he flew up to try to grab the basketball and just landed awkwardly, but they say he was pushed. So, they'll go to the line here. Will number 10, Xavier Price. Long way from home for the 6'6 freshman, Reading, Pennsylvania. A 29% free throw shooter. So a guy you'd love to have on the line if you're the Bears. The eyes of the bucket. First shot with 3.12 to go in the half. No good. Second shot coming up. Bears holding on to this three-point lead. Boy, wouldn't it be something if we could pull this one out. The Jasper girls, the Bevel guys winning a, a state championship at the same time. He missed the entire... <laughs> I'm sorry. He missed the entire rim. He barely hit the bottom of the net. My goodness, that looked like me shooting a free throw. He's a 29% free throw shooter. <laughs> and he missed the second one, an air ball out of bounds. I'm sorry. I just... That uh... <laughs> just tickled me. Daniels with the basketball. Like I say, I can't do much better, man, so don't worry. Here's a long deuce for Shengazi. No good. Long outlet pass. Snowbird pass. Lay in. Is good by Lambert. 32-31, your score. As Shengazi will hold up three fingers. Running the point here. Right underneath the scoot has it. Now Griffin. Top of the circle. Bounce pass. Shengazi. 2.15 to go in the half. Bears with the basketball. Six to shoot. Five to shoot. Good. Goes to work. In the paint. Puts it up. No good. He's fouled. And will be shooting two here. 14 gets the call. That is Lambert's first. Good with six points. Here's the first free throw coming up. Off the front iron, no good. Second shot with 2.05 to go until halftime. Tay Good eyes the bucket. Trying to extend the bear lead. It is good. 33-31, your score. 
Bears by two. Leach with the basketball. Bounce pass, Thomas now left side perimeter, now near side, here's a drive to the hoop, kissing it off the glass, and in is Lambert. And that's gonna tie the ball game up, and we've got a timeout on the floor. Bears wanna talk things over. We will take a 30 second break, and we'll return with more Bear basketball live, presented by Pinnacle Bank, WJLX. Live here in the Port City of Mobile, beautiful outside shot here at Mission State Community College. We're tied at 33. Bears with the basketball now. And they'll walk it up the floor here. Daniels with the basketball. Bounce pass to Davis. On the wing, Davis cross court he goes. Now they reverse the ball near side. Back underneath to Davis. He will drive, put it up. Yes, count it the foul. Davis is six point and the foul is called. This one is going to be against Bacchus. His first foul and to the line will go. Jay Davis, and it's good. 36-33, Bears out front. Sneed State, winners of 10 in a row. The Bears trying to snap that here at the championships. Leach with the basketball. Leach, top of the circle, picked up by Shangazi. Now he'll put up the three. It's no good. Oh, they're going to get Tay Good with his first foul of the ball game. So that will send Dante Bacchus to the line. He has 12 points. First free throw on the way is good. 36-34 your score. A minute seven to go, Bears out front. Halftime coming up here on JLX. Second shot, good. Bacchus nails them both. 36-35, your score. Here's Shangazi into the front court with a dribble. Shangazi running the point here. He'll dribble to the far side. Now, he'll drive on the wing, stops his dribble, leaves it with Daniels, open for three, got it! Daniels second tray of the ball game. His six point makes it 39-35. 40 seconds left to go in the half. 20 on the shot clock, a 14 second differential. Leach with a basketball. Leach comes near side to Lambert. Lambert drives in the paint, defense collapses in, but the ball goes right through the hoop. It's good. It's 39-36, 18 seconds left. Bears gonna work for the last shot as the shot clock is off. Shangazi to the dribble with six at five, at four. He'll drive on the wing, right side, shot good! Shangazi's 13, his 13th point. You hear the buzzer, and the Bears take the lead, 43, or excuse me, 41-37 into the locker room here at halftime. So. We're going to step aside here and break away your halftime score. Bevel State 41, Sneed State 37 from the Division II Junior College Basketball Championships in Mobile. I'm Brett Elmore for WJLX Sports, and we'll be back after the break.
Hi guys, I'm Dr. Martin Roberts, owner of Jasper Veterinary Clinic. Three years ago when I set out to open my own clinic, Pinnacle was my bank of choice to help that dream become a reality. Recently when we needed to expand and had the opportunity to acquire property adjoining to ours, I made one call to Wayne and he set those wheels in motion. If you have banking needs, give Pinnacle a call. Hello everyone, I'm Drake McKenzie from All South Land and Timber. We've been banking with Pinnacle Bank for over 25 years. The customer service at Pinnacle Bank is first class. We highly recommend banking with Pinnacle Bank for all of your financial needs. I'm Robin Reed Allen, Chairman of the Board of Pinnacle Bank. Come see our team and make Pinnacle Bank your bank too. Bevel State is your community college for convenient and affordable academic transfer options. Rewarding health science programs. High wage, high demand career tech training. Your story starts at Bevel State. We are back at the half, 41-37, your score. Bears out front here at the half, 20 minutes away from their first state championship, Region 22 championship. Since 2004. And let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers here at the half. First of all, for Steed State, the Parsons being led by 
back as it is 14 points. Other than that, though, you have Rodgers with seven points off the bench, six points for Lambert, five points for Leach, three points for Thomas, and two points for Andrews. For Bevel State Walker College, being led by Donovan Shengaze with 13 points. Seven points coming from Good and Davis. Six points for Isaiah Daniels. Four points for Quinn Brooks and Jason Griffin to get us 41-37 here. At intermission, final game of the season. It's always nice to play your final game in the championship game. Brand new nets are up, by the way, because the ladies, they cut down the nets earlier. I believe that was um, Coastal Community College who won that one over Sneed. And the Parsons, the number one ranked seed in this contest, in this tournament against Bevel State, the number two seed in the tournament. I'd like to say a pretty good crowd from Jasper has made the trip. It's always nice to see. They're just a few minutes away from the second half of action. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the field goal percentages of the particulars here. First of all, for Bevel State, or excuse me, for uh, Sneed State in the first half, 52% from the floor, 22%, two out of nine from three point range, and then they were nine of 13 from the free throw line, 69%. For thank you so much, thank you. <laughs> People taking care of me, that's uh, always nice. Thanks, Tiffany, for of the uh, water there. Lord knows I always need that. Uh, let's see. Uh, mentioned 69% free throws for the Parsons. For Bevel State Walker College, uh, shooting 52% from the floor, 33%, 3 of 9 from behind the arc, and they are 6 of 8 from the charity strike, 75%. All right, we're going to take another break. The teams are back out on the floor. As you see, at least the Parsons are back on the floor. We're going to take another break when we come back. Take a look at the foul situation and get you ready for the second half. It's Bear Basketball live on WJLX, the sports voice of Walker County. Bevel State is your community college for convenient and affordable academic transfer options. Rewarding health science programs. High wage, high demand career tech training. Your story starts at Bevel State.
Back live here in Mobile. Bear basketball and WJLX live stream presented by Bevel State Community College at Pinnacle Bank. Bears back out on the floor. Once again, congratulations. And earlier today, our Jasper Lady Vikings, a winner in the state tournament in Birmingham. Congratulations, ladies, from uh, all of us here at WJLX, the radio station. And of course, I tell you what, city of Jasper is very, very, very proud of you, ladies. And we're hoping that Bevel State Walker College could bring one home too. Wouldn't that be something? If we could <laughs> manage to pull that off, that'd be great. We're assuming the coach will go with the same five here. Daniels, Shangazi, Good, Davis, and Brooks. And then, of course, for the Parsons, Andrews, Bacchus, Lambert, Leach, and Thomas. Starting lineups for both teams. As far as the uh, foul situation is concerned, let's see. Um, you got four Bears with two fouls apiece. Shangazi, Brooks, Griffin, and Dixon. And then for the Parsons, you have Andrews and Lambert with two apiece. So... Not a real big deal here, as we're just about set for the second half. Bears getting some last minute instructions from coach, the, excuse me, the coach of the year, Coach Billy Connor, the Division II coach of the year. Talked to him before the game, gave him a big pat on the back, said, Coach, congratulations. He said, I wasn't expecting that. I said, well, You've done a heck of a job, and he has in his first year here at the helm of the program and the Bears. We'll have the basketball as we get set for the second half. Here's Davis underneath going to work. Davis kicks out. Goo thought about the three, a fake. Now we'll pull up two steps and puts up the shot. No good. Ball knocked away by Good and out of bounds. Out of bounds. And uh, number five, the big guy, Bacchus, will inbound for the Parsons. Second half underway here for the Division II Men's Basketball Championships. Here's number 22 with the basketball. That is Thomas. Thomas to the dribble. Going to leave off with his teammate. That is Lambert. Lambert kicks it back out. Seven to shoot. Pulls up, takes a long jumper, no good. Davis away with a rebound. Shangazi with a basketball. Left side, now looks underneath. That's Davis. Davis, back it in, trying to go to work. He will turn around, he puts up a tough shot, good! Davis, his ninth point, makes it 43-37. Bears out front. Need with the basketball, whistles, offensive foul. Offensive foul, and it's on Bacchus. That's his second timeout on the floor. Sneed wants to talk this thing over, and the Bears lead it 43-37. We'll be back with more Bear basketball in just a moment. Back live here in Mobile. Bears will have the basketball as we get set. 
23 will inbound for the Bears. That is Quinn Brooks. You see just walking into the screen here. There's Shangasi. Far side. Daniels back over now to Davis. Davis to Shangazi, near side perimeter. Picked up by Thomas defensively. They're in a man-to-man -man defense. Top of the key, Shangazi with nine to shoot. He'll drive, pass one guy, puts it up, no good. Ball loose, and Leach comes away with it now for the Parsons. And they are going fast. And there's Mario Andrews with his fourth point. 43-39, Daniels with the basketball. Left side, they go. Falling down is Shangazi, and he was pushed. He was pushed, they say, by number 14, Aiden Lambert, his second. That is the second team foul of the half. Bears lead 43-39, 18 minutes to go in the ball game. They work it in bounds. Quinn Brooks with the basketball over to Davis. Now whistles, offensive foul. And this one's going to be against Quinn Brooks, his second. So Sneed will inbound baseline, go the length of the floor. Down by four, it's a two-possession game here. And we need some defense here. Leaps for the basketball. Backus now has it, top of the circle. Picked up by Goode defensively. He'll leave off now with Thomas. Thomas back over now to Butler. Butler over to the 10th shoot to Leach. Going to put up the shot. It's no good. Fight for the rebound. Bears come away with it. Davis pulls down the board. Here's Shangazi. Shangazi near side. Leaves it off with Daniels. Daniels to the dribble. Stops his dribble, finds Shangazi. Bounce pass inside to Davis. He'll go to work. Davis kisses it off the glass. Davis with 11 points. And the Bears lead 45-39. Leach with a basketball. Leach picked up by Shangazi defensively. Ball almost knocked away. Here's the big guy Backus. Going to drive in the paint, it's good. His 16th point. 45-41, Bears on top. Shangazi with a basketball for the Bears. He'll go left side to Daniels, back up top to Shangazi. He waves his hand around his face and he'll feed Davis underneath who is fouled going to the bucket. This is going to be on Butler, his first. Shangazi, yeah, waving his hand over his face, making the John Cena move. And now Davis will go to the line where he will shoot two, and it rattles out no good. Davis, a 72% free throw shooter. Averaging 13 points, he has 11 so far. Had nine last night in that overtime win over Chattahoochee Valley. Second shot for Davis is on the way. It is up, and it is good. 46-41, Bears on top. Parsons working to the goal to my left. Leach with the basketball. Sticky defense, Shangazi's there with him. Step for step, he drives past Shangazi, shot no good, ball fought for, out of bounds. Yes, it is out of bounds, and it'll be Sneed basketball. Right in front of us here, in front of the Sneed bench. The Bears had a chance to get the handle on it, but could not, and now the big guy, Dante Backus, will inbound in front of the Sneed bench. Now the referees in front of us having a discussion. Now they're saying put, it, put 20 on the shot clock. 16-13 to play in the ball game. Big Tegood defending the inbound. They'll work it in now to Leach. Back over and out of Bacchus. Bacchus in the paint. He slips, loses the handle out of bounds. 
Oh. Oh, he's hurt. I hope this is not serious. He is on the floor now. I believe he's okay. Let's hope so if he can walk this thing off. Of course, Bacchus with 16 points. Sneed could not afford to lose him in this ball game. He's going to walk it off, though. 46-41, your score. He'll walk it off, and the referees will wipe up the floor of the perspiration, also known as old-fashioned sweat. They'll work it in now. Shangazi with a basketball. Dribbling into the front court slowly. Shangazi near side. He's going to dribble drive along the baseline. He's walking with a basketball. Turnover, and Sneed State will have it with 15-52. Time to go on the ball game. Down by five. I tell you what, you could tell along the baseline that Dante Backus is not 100%. He's going to trot up the floor, and he's going to try to battle through this, but he doesn't look to be 100%. Thomas with the basketball. He'll dribble, drive in the paint. Puts up the shot. No good. Bears fighting for the rebound. Oh, it's going to be saved by Davis into the hands of Daniels. Back the other way, Shangazi. Shangazi pulls back, waits for help. Here's a three, Davis. Short. Whistles. Oh, they're going to call it. Oh, man. They call a foul on Alistair Dixon. That's his fourth. Doggone it. Thought he got a clean rebound, but he didn't. And uh, Alistair Dixon, he had 14 points last night, but he is scoreless in this game and has four fouls. Leach with the basketball. Leach into the paint, going to kick out now. Butler, Butler drives, he loses it. Bears back the other way in transition. Here's the feed. Dunks the basketball. Alistair Dixon dunks the basketball. And the Bear crowd across the way going nuts. 48-41. Leach drive, shot, no good. Bears away with a rebound. Out front quickly to Good. Good will dribble back, wait for help. And with 14 and a half to go in the ball game, the Bears with three, no. Rebound coming out to Bacchus and the Parsons. Parsons back the other way, Bacchus will square up for three. Wide open look, no good. Fight for it, out of bounds. It'll be Sneed basketball. Man, this has been a war. This has been a war. Sneed State, the Defending state champions, 24 and six. They've only lost one conference game all season. They've won 10 in a row. And the Bears are going toe to toe with them here. Backus with the basketball, drives to the paint, shoots it over Jason Griffin, good. And that one makes it 48 to 43. Good with the basketball. Good. Top of the circle. Knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Armani Thomas. The 6'5 sophomore from Florida. Whistles, and we have a timeout on the floor. Media timeout. We'll take one. We're live from Mobile. This is Bear Basketball on WJLX.
Welcome back to Bear Basketball and WJLX. The Sports Boys of Walker County, Brett Elmore. Court side, the Bears lead 48-43. 13-53 time to go in the ball game. And the Bears with the basketball off the inbound. This is Donovan Shingasi with the basketball. 10 to shoot, Shingasi goes far side with the dribble. On the wing now, gonna put up a finger roll. It's good off the left side. Shingasi with his 15th point. Makes it 50 to 43 now. Leach with a basketball on the wing. Leach, shoot up, rocket over to Thomas, top of the key. Leaves it with Rogers now. Rogers back up top. Backus, ten to shoot. Backus goes to work, drives to the paint, puts it up and in. Man, this guy's good. His twentieth point. It's fifty to forty-five. Shangasi with a basketball. 13 minutes to go in the ball game. Bears with a five-point lead. Here's a three on the way, way off the mark, no good. Would not fall for Alistair Dixon. Back the other way, Sneed with the basketball. Whistles, and a foul and two shots coming up for Leach. Who's guilty of this one? 10, Elijah Heron. That's gonna be his first. And that's going to be the third team foul of the half. To the line will go Malik Leach, 76% free throw shooter. Averages 16 points a game. And that shot is good. He only has six in this one, though. So the Bears have kept him in check. Second shot is coming up. He eyes the bucket, bounces once, twice, three four times and will deliver the shot up and good. So both free throws are good. It's 50 to 47. Bears with a basketball in the lead. Heron has it. Gonna leave it off with Griffin. Here's a dribble drive. Shot good, count it the foul. Donovan Shankasi with his 17th point of the ball game. And one coming up. That's going to be on Rodgers. K.J. Rodgers is first. And that'll be the fourth team foul. Here's the shot. Free throw no good. And the rebound coming out to the Parsons. Parsons with the basketball. This is Leach with it. Going to leave off with Backus. He'll direct traffic. Backus. Going to lay it up and in. Backus with his 22nd point. That makes it 52-49. Whistles now, and we have some confusion here. Oh, some substitution. Substitutions is uh, Griffin will check out. Quinn Brooks will check back in for the Bears. Twelve nineteen to go in the ball game. Bears lead 52-49. Slowly up the floor comes Heron. Heron into the front court with a dribble. Here's Davis. Davis drives. He kicks out. Three ball on the way. No good. Skying for the rebound is good. Comes back out. Heron for three. Yes, he got it. Elijah Heron is first points in their big 55-49. Your score now. 11-53 to go in a ball game. Bears lead. Here's a drive. Lay in, good by Leach. 55-51, Heron with a basketball into the front court now. Heron leaves it off with Good. Good dribbles in the paint, stops. Gonna have a shot blocked, and we've got a tackle out there <laughs> by Good as his shot was blocked, and Tavion Good will have his second. They'll wipe up the floor here. Coach Billy Connor, you see him there if you're on the on the live stream, pacing the sidelines. Legendary high school basketball coach from Corner, taking over this program and the coach of the year in Division Two, 
and looking to lead Bevel State to their first basketball championship in 20 years. The Jasper campus's first title in 41 years. That would be something else. Leach with the basketball. Going to leave off now with Bacchus. Bacchus, kick out. Here's a three on the way. Good by Thomas, his second tray of the game. 55-54. This one's getting tight. Shangazi with a basketball. Shangazi works off a screen. He's going to draw the double team. Leaves it off with Heron. Heron going to drive. Bounce pass inside, and a foul is called. This one is going to be on number four, Mario Andrews, his second. 11 minutes exactly to go in the ball game. The Bears lead by a point. They have the basketball baseline. Shangazi will inbound. Championship Saturday here on JLX. And boy, it's been a good Saturday so far. Here's Daniels with the basketball. Daniels to the dribble. He's going to pull up, take the three. It's no good. Ball tipped out of bounds on Sneed. Off of the Parsons. And they'll put 20 on the shot clock, and the Bears will inbound side court. Right in front of the bench, you see Quinn Brooks. Brooks will work it in to Daniels. Back over to Shangazi near his side. 10.45 to go in the game. He works against Butler. Makes a move on him. Puts a move on him. And a fadeaway jumper is good from Shangazi. His 19th point. It is 57-54. Leach with the basketball. Goes right to Butler for three in the tie. No, he's over the back. Yes, he is. The whistle, Xavier Price over the back. His second, and that will be the 16th foul of the half. So that's big, one away from the bonus with 10.23 to go. Bevel with the basketball. Shangazi running the point. Shangazi goes left to Heron. Almost had it taken away from him. The ball is loose, and it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Bear basketball. Side court here. It walked the tight line across, across the way. And uh, Brooks will inbound. Brooks will inbound. He gets it in to Heron. Heron will leave off with Shagazi. Six to shoot, five to shoot. Drives in the paint, kick out pass. Daniels for three. No good. Oh, the rebound. Davis puts it back up. No good. Oh, the fight for it. Fight for the rebound. And... Uh, Sneed State comes away with it. Into the front court. Leach with the basketball. They go right. Butler for three. Got it. Butler nails the three. And we're tied at 57 here in Mobile. Timeout on the floor. We will take one as well. We'll be back with more Bear Basketball on the Sports Voice of Walker County, WJLX. Welcome back. Bears with a basketball. And we're tied at 57. Bears have it. Shangazi with a basketball. Double teamed. Gonna leave off now. 
with Brooks. Near side, Heron. Looking underneath, ball is knocked out of bounds by Sneed, nine to shoot. 9.13 to go on the ball game, we're tied at 57. Substitution coming in, Tay Good is back in. Heron will check out. Winner will play a week from today against the Florida champion for the right to go to Hutchison, Kansas. Here's Davis going to work underneath, and he's fouled going to the bucket. Two shots coming up as Xavier Price draws his third. Davis will walk up to the line to shoot free throws here. And, folks, we're getting into crunch time big time. 9.08 to go. I believe I have set up in the middle of the Sneed crowd. This could get dangerous. <laughs> uh, that'll be all right. Wouldn't be the first time we've had to fight our way out of a, a basketball gym. It's first shot, Davis, no good. His 12th point. He has 12, I should say. He's looking for his 13th, which is his average. Andrews checks back into the ball game. Price out for Sneed State. Davis eyes the bucket trying to break the tie. And he will do so. His 13th point makes it 58 to 57. Leach with the basketball. Into the front court with a dribble. Leaves it with Thomas. Thomas near side. Bullet pass. Inside shot. Good. Count it. And the foul. Mario Andrews, his sixth point. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's either the first lead for Sneed in this ballgame or maybe since the early moments of the ballgame. And they're trying to add to it here. Free throws no good. It's 59-58. Parsons by a point. Bears with the basketball. Here's Shangazi with the basketball. Shangazi, bounce pass. Oh, and another reach in foul. Two shots coming up for Brooks as Leach commits his first, and that's going to be the 18th foul. So to the line goes Quinn Brooks, a 60% free throw shooter, averaging six points a game. He has four so far in this one. He had 10 last night against Chattahoochee Valley in the overtime victory. 8.39 to go in the ball game. Looking across the way, see Dr. Joel Haygood, the president of Bevel State Community College. Across the way, see Dr. Dennis Willingham, the superintendent of education, Walker County Schools. See them both. Sitting across the way, see some students. Glad they've made the trip. I'll tell you what, this has been a great ball game. I likened it to David versus Goliath. First shot is good. I tell you, this sneak team's really, really good. We're tied at 59. Can Brooks break the tie and give the Bears the lead back? No, he cannot. And the rebound coming out now to the Parsons. We're tied at 59. Parsons with the basketball. Backus has it. Backus leaves off with Butler. Here's a dribble drive. Back outside to Butler. Butler dribbles. Now a bounce pass to the big guy Backus. He's double teamed. Lost the handle. Comes back up with it. Shoots it over two pairs and puts it up and in. His 24 point. It's 61-59. Sneed on top. Shangasi with the basketball. Sneed obviously with a bigger crowd than we have. Or at least I'm on their sideline, it seems like. Number four with the basketball. That is good. Timeout coach. Coach Connor sensed his guys were in trouble. We'll take a timeout as well. 
We'll be back. 30-second break. You tuned to Bear Basketball presented by Pinnacle Bank on WJLX. Welcome back, Bear Basketball, WJLX. Live look outside of here in Mobile, Alabama, the campus of Bishop State Community College. The streets of Mobile. There at the entrance and inside, we have a great ball game, 61-59. Sneed State on top of the Bears. You hear the buzzer. Bears will have the basketball as we get back to action. Davis will inbound. He works it in to Alistair Dixon. Dixon to Shangazi with three to shoot. Offensive foul is called on Dixon. So Dixon checks in. He immediately gets a foul. I, I, I think that was on Dixon. Nevertheless, it's a 16 foul, and with 7.41 to play in the ball game, Sneed with the basketball. Here's a feed underneath, shot no good, whistles, we got a foul. We got a blocking foul underneath the bucket. And this one's gonna be on Tay Good, his third. And to the line, we'll shoot three free throws here. We'll number four, Mario Andrews. Seventh team foul of a half. Mopping up the floor again. It's five o'clock on WJLX. And while they shoot the free throws, we will pause for station ID. First one is good. Second one coming up. It's good. Bears facing their largest deficit of the afternoon. 63-59, ball out of bounds with the base State basketball. Oh my goodness. Momentum is, is definitely on the side of Sneed with 7.23 to go in the ball game. The Bears gonna have to be up. They're going to have to try to stop this bleeding here. Near side with the basketball, Thomas. Thomas gonna leave it off of Leach for three, yes. And did he get fouled? Did he get fouled as well? I believe he did. 66-59, and that foul is on Alistair Dixon, and that's his fifth. Dixon is out of the ball game, and you hear the crowd. Timeout on the floor. 66-59, Sneed leads. We'll be back with more from Mobile in a moment. It is. The JUCO Division II Region 22 Championship on WJLX.
Welcome back, everybody. WJLX, the sound of Walker County. So we'll have a uh, free throw coming up for Malik Leach, who just nailed his 12th point of the ball game. He nailed the tray and got fouled, so time for a rare four-point play the old-fashioned way. Leach eyes the bucket. It's good. Leach makes it now 67-59. Bears need a bucket badly. Daniels with the basketball. Played such a perfect first half. Davis with it. Ball's knocked away out of bounds last touch by Steve. Davis will inbound now with 16 to shoot. Side court here. Across the way. Davis gets the ball from Mr. Referee and works it into Brooks. Brooks to the dribble. Leaves it with Shangazi. Shangazi has it knocked away from behind. It's on the floor. Sneed has it. They call the timeout. My goodness. Nothing is going right for the Bears at this point in time. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. Bear basketball is a sports presentation of WJLX in Chester. Tell you what, I'm not counting the Bears out just yet in this one. We know what happened last night. That crazy overtime finish. And now the ball will be inbound by Malik Leach. And the Parsons with the basketball. Over to Butler now. Butler drives. Going to put it up. Going to put it in. And the foul is called. 69, 59, and one coming up. This is going to be on Brooks. And this is, this is going to be, is this his fifth? Yes, it is. Quinn Brooks is fouled out. Six and a half minutes to go in this one. And Sneed with their largest lead of the night at 10. 69-59. So, the free throw coming up. It is good. Butler with his six point. 70 to 59. Bears need points badly. They need some, something positive to happen here. Near side to Heron. Heron dribble drive, kick out now. Shangazi back over to Heron for three. Yes! That's how you do it, baby. That's how you get back into things. 6.05 to go in the ball game. A tray makes it 70 to 62. Sneed with the lead and the basketball. Backus with it. He's going to back in, going to put it up. No good. Rebound coming out to Goon the Bears. Bears with the basketball quickly out front. Into the front court. Goon, uh, excuse me, Goon with the basketball. Yes. He will drive from the charity stripe. Puts it up and in. Goon's ninth point. Bears not done yet. 70 64. Five and a half minutes to go here in the ball game. Leach with it, drives, count it, and the foul, his 15th, 72-64. And that's gonna send Leach to the line. 
Man, that's tough. Shot coming up from Malik Leach. He is good. 73-64 your score. Sneed out front. Good with the basketball. Going to drive. He's on the baseline. In the paint now. Looking for help. Finds it in Daniels for three. And it. His third trade of the ball game. 73-67. Five minutes to go in the game. Bears just, they won't go away. Here's a dribble drive, shot blocked. Oh, they're gonna call it with a foul. They're gonna call Davis with the foul. Davis with his, only a second. But two shots coming up. Oh my goodness. A two possession game, this could make it a three possession game. 4.51 to play in the ball game. Or in regulation. <laughs> After what we saw last night, I'm just gonna say in regulation. But you never know. You never know what's gonna happen. Here's the first shot off the back iron, no good from Mario Andrews. Andrews is 60% free throw shooter. He has eight points in this ball game, and he has one more shot coming up. Shot, eyes the bucket, on the way. Good for Mario, 74-67. Heron with the basketball for the Bears. Good, directing traffic here. Good, looking for help. Gonna find it, Daniels back over Shangazi. Shangazi. He will drive in the paint. Shangazi kick out pass. Three on the way. Oh, it's no good. Out of bounds. Last touch by Steed. Across the way, the Bear crowd and a good crowd making their way to Mobile. Down by seven points. The Bears looking to inbound. They work it into Good. Good, back over to Davis now. Davis gets past the defender. Kick out pass, three on the way, no good. Davis with a rebound. Davis, blocking foul is called, and Davis will go to the line to shoot. Two free throws. Nope, the one and one, they say. Gonna be the one and one as they wipe up the floor here. So Good, or excuse me, Davis, I should say. Davis has 13 points in the ball game. And now the referees are having a small discussion here. Davis is chatting with Coach. And that's a good question. I don't know what we're doing. The fans are asking, what's going on? I don't know. It is the one and one, but was he in the act of shooting? One and one. And Coach is up off the bench. Coach Connor says he was shooting. Coach Connor upset about something right below us here. You see him, if you're watching the live stream, in the white with that, uh, with that towel <laughs> he carries with him. One and one, first shot is good for Davis. His 14th. Every point huge now as we're into crunch time, 419 to go. Davis eyes the bucket. Shot is good. 74, 69. Sneed with the lead. Come on, defense. Here's Backus with a basketball. Kicks it back outside to Butler. He'll leave it off with Thomas. Down over to Leach, near side perimeter. Met by Shangazi defensively with 10 to shoot. Drives in the paint, puts up a floater, and he gets it to fall. Leach with his 18th point. 74, or 76, 69, I should say. My scoreboard is wrong here. There's the three! 
Isaiah Daniels nails the three. Sneed leads 76-72. Got my scoreboard right now and my score sheet. Here's Leach, turnaround jumper short, put back good. Mario Andrews makes it 78-72 with 3.07 to go. Oh, and they're shaking the bleachers here now. Here's number two with the basketball, Shangazi. Leaves it with Daniels. Back to Shangazi. He'll come cross court to Goo. Thought about the three, tend to shoot. He will drive in the paint, kick out. Now, Shangazi's open for three. No good. Rebound, Davis. And a fresh shot clock. Shangazi has it, kicks it out. Here's an open look three. Got it! Get it, Elijah Heron. Elijah Heron nails it at 78-75. Timeout on the floor, and Uncle Mo is back on the side of the good guys. Timeout on the floor. Nope, wait a minute, is it a timeout? No, it's not. They're just uh, trying to fix the net here. They're, the net is being fixed. And here comes the ladder. I could have had time to take a break, but it doesn't matter at this point. Well, I tell you, let's reset everything here. 78-75, it's a three-point advantage for the Parsons. 235, time to go here in the ball game or in regulation. Bears led most, if not all, of the first half. Led into the second half before Sneed went up by as many as 10, I believe. The Bears climbed back into this one, clawed back into this one. The net is fixed. Someone's gonna cut it down in two minutes and 35 seconds. Sneed will inbound, five will do the honors. Backus, their baseline. And they get it in. Come on, defense. Parsons with the basketball. Lee has it. Here's a cutter to the bucket. Oh, my goodness. They call Shengazi with a foul. Two shots coming up. Shengazi with his fourth. So shooting two will be Davion Butler. He has six points. Looking to extend this lead here. They lead by three. Shot on the way, it is up. And it is good for Butler, his seventh point. 79-75. This has been a good one, folks. Bears have had a great season win, lose, or draw of this one. They've come a long way in a short period of time. Second shot is good. 80 to 75. Two possession game. Bears with a basketball. Daniels plays with Shengazi. Shengazi comes near side with a dribble, goes up top. Good. Thought about the three. Now will feed a bounce pass. Not a very wise move. It's stolen away, and here's the lay-in. Good for Bacchus. Back the other way now, 82-75. Bears trail, they have the basketball. Heron leaves it off with Daniel. Daniel to Shangasi. He'll drive in the paint now with 14 to shoot, a minute 48 to go. Here's a three, no good, and the rebound coming out to Steed. Parsons running with it. Here's the alley, oop, they lay it up and in. Mario Andrews, and this one's getting away from the Bears. Minute 34 to go. Going to step up for three. No good. 90 seconds to go in the game. Sneed with a nine-point lead. Right under us here, the double team. This is Bacchus. Going to drive with the hoop. It's good. 86-75. This one's getting away from the Bears. A minute eight to play in the ballgame. Here's a three. Good. 
by Davis. You just never know about this Bear team. 86-78, your score. Timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. We'll be back with more Bear basketball after this one minute timeout. Bevel State is your community college for convenient and affordable academic transfer options. Rewarding health science programs. High wage, high demand career tech training. Your story starts at Bevel State. Live Alabama Community College Conference Basketball Championships. Inbounds pass coming up for Steed, and the Bears are pressing. Whistles, and we got a foul. Backus will go to the line and shoot free throws here. I tell you, been a, that's going to be on uh, Tay Good, by the way, his fourth. Back gets to the line to shoot two with a minute two to go. And boy, the Bears fought hard in this one, but it's looking bleak at this point. Backus, my goodness, his 29th unofficial point makes it 87 78. Backus averages 22 points a game. He's the state's leading score you might as well say the top player in the state guy's good 6-6 six, six, sophomore from Homewood here's Davis with a basketball for the Bears they need points quickly Davis gonna drive kick out pass Heron open corner three no good rebound Sneed and the Bears are pressing they break the press here. Leach with the basketball. He's going to be double teamed. And finally a foul. And they're going to foul who? That's going to be on uh, Daniels, I believe. His second. And here's Leach at the charity strike. Shot on the way and good. His 19th point. It's at 89-78, 37 seconds left. Seven se second deferential in the shot clock and the game clock. The Bears played a well of a game. Short with the second one. Bears back up the floor quickly. Here's a shot from Good, way off the mark, no good. And the rebound coming out to Sneed. Backus with the basketball is going to be fouled by Heron. And you hear the Sneed crowd with 23 seconds left. Heron with his second. Doesn't really matter at this point. 23 seconds left, and Sneed put together an amazing second half to pull away from the Bears. They'll be playing one week from tonight in Baymanette against the Florida champion. Um, and the winner of that game will go on to the national tournament in, um, did I say Hutchison earlier? I meant Danville, Illinois. I've been so, so used to saying Hutchison for so many years. But it's in Danville, Illinois, the Division II championship. Shot no good. Or excuse me, shot is good, 91-78. Here is a dunk to finish things off by Mario Andrews. 
12 seconds left, 91-78 your score. Davis with the basketball, the Bears gonna dribble it out. Bears gonna dribble this one out. That's it. That is it. And some words. They look like, but that's gonna be your final, folks. 91, or excuse me, 93 to 78. And your runners up, Bevel State Walker College. Congratulations on a great season, guys. Your winner of the men's basketball tournament is Steed State. The Parsons win it. And they'll be cutting down the nets here, but what an experience for these guys. We haven't made this title game in so long. I know the guys are disappointed, and obviously, Coach Billy Connor, and in his first season of the Bears, looks on, and I can tell you what, that guy right there and his, his players will be back. But across the way, we look across the way on the video stream, Great folks from Jasper making the trip. And below us here, the champions, Sneed State, the Parsons, they win at 93-78. Dr. Joel Haygood coming by to pat the guys on the back. You see him down there if you're on the live stream. Obviously disappointed. Let's go downstairs. Sneed fans are gathering in front of us here. Shangazi is going to be a member of the all-tournament team. And he deserves it, buddy. He's played his heart out this this season in this tournament. Obviously some also disappointment. The Bears, number 22, Davis. Nice Davis. Davis will come out. Number zero, Malik Leach. Malik Leach from uh, the Parsons on the tournament team. Apologize for you folks on the live stream. We have and folks standing in front of us. Number four, Mario Andrews. Number four, Mario Andrews. Now the MVP's got to be back. Mario. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the tournament most valuable player. The most valuable player's got to be back. This player has 30 points. 30 points. Bacchus is not only the MVP, but he has been named the player of the year in Division II basketball. 93-78, your final score. The hardware about to be passed along. And now the Bears gonna be recognized as the runner up. And there is Dean Myrick from the conference. And there's Coach Billy Connor 
going to accept on behalf of the college. Just below us here, Bears coming together. You folks on radio, thank you so very much for listening. We're going to get out of here on the radio side in just a minute. You folks on the video side, we're going to bid you a farewell as well. Devil State. The runner-up this year in Division II and the Parsons win it all. But I guarantee you one thing, Bears will be back. That's for sure. Until next time and next season, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening on radio. We bid you a most pleasant good evening from Mobile.